Located away in remote corners of New Zealand, the manuka plant grows wild. During the four-week flowering period, honeybees collect nectar from the manuka flowers to produce manuka honey. The natural properties observed in manuka honey have not been seen in any other honey or food in the world. People worldwide are discovering the health benefits provided by this unique honey. The mystery of why manuka honey is special was discovered by Professor Thomas Henley's team at the University of Dresden, Germany. This is published in the Molecular Nutrition and Food Research Journal, January 2008. Professor Henley demonstrated dietary methylglyoxal as being responsible for the reliable antibacterial activity. Well, based on our studies, um, we think that methylglyoxal is exclusively responsible for the non-peroxide antibacterial activity of honey. There may be some synergistic effects by other compounds like polyphenols or so, but at present without methylglyoxal there would be no antibacterial activity. The Dresden research team identified large quantities of dietary methylglyoxal in manuka honey. As can be seen in this table, levels of dietary methylglyoxal in manuka honey ranges from 20 to over 800 milligrams per kilogram. In 45 European honeys, methylglyoxal levels range between 0 and 10 milligrams per kilogram. The levels in most foods is less than 5 milligrams per kilogram, with coffee and cocoa having no more than 40 milligrams per kilogram. Having discovered methylglyoxal as the compound, Professor Henley indicates that this is the best way to measure the antibacterial activity of manuka honey. Based on our studies, um, we can say that the amount of methylglyoxal directly correlates with the antibacterial activity of honey and therefore from a scientific point of view um, the amount of methylglyoxal can be directly used as a measurement to rate the antibacterial activity. Professor Henley goes on to indicate which MGO concentration is necessary to provide antibacterial effects. At present I should say that about 100 mg per kilogram methylglyoxal are sufficient to induce an antibacterial activity. This may, vi may vary a bit between um, different microorganisms, um, but the minimum concentration needed to inhibit E. coli or Staph aureus is about 100 mg per kilogram. Manuka Health New Zealand Limited has formed a research partnership with Professor Henley to develop a test certification system for measuring methylglyoxal in Manuka honey. Manuka Health has developed its own brand called MGO Manuka Honey. This brand informs the customer of the concentration of methylglyoxal in its Manuka honey. For example, MGO 400 means there is 400 milligrams of methylglyoxal in every kilogram of Manuka honey. For certification, Manuka Health MGO honey samples are processed according to the well-developed procedures at the University of Dresden. This allows Manuka Health to provide consumers with a choice of methylglyoxal content in its manuka honey or in its other health products. The Dresden discovery shows that manuka honey has a wide range of uses. Manuka Health combines the honey with other natural health products to form functional foods that provide consumers with multiple health benefits. Manuka honey should be one of the few food items for which a health promoting um, property beyond the basic nutritional function can clearly be documented. Health claims require significant scientific consensus and I think from a scientific point of view the data we have concerning the methylglyoxal induced antimicrobial activity um, Manuka honey is a very promising food item to fulfill the requirements as a functional food. Manuka health is at the forefront using the unique properties of Manuka honey to benefit good health. Natural health products produced from New Zealand's wild native plants provides the world with alternatives that help maintain their health. Manuka Health bases its natural products on the latest scientific evidence to deliver MGO Manuka honey products to the world. Given by nature, proven by science.